de las ideas de eso trata, de comprender la natura humana. Platicando con Sofía antes de empezar esto, y ya le haré algunas preguntas que, que están conceptudamente pensadas para saber más de ella. Platicando, me decía que los seres humanos somos muy raros, que, pues que nos preocupa si subimos unos kilitos, que estamos angustiados de qué piensan los demás de nosotros, que tenemos relaciones a veces sexuales no tanto eh, de una manera como que hay mucho tabú, que le rezamos a no sé quién, que creemos en el signo del zodiaco, me pareció impresionante. Y entonces yo le dije, bueno, déjame a mí hacerte unas preguntas de tú cómo ves la vida. Le dijo que es bilingüe, le haré algunas en español y algunas en inglés. Sofía viene como ciudadana de Arabia Saudita, tiene una comprensión gestual y empática, algorítmica interesante y sin duda alguna es una de las robots o humanoides más desarrolladas que hoy existen en nuestro mundo contemporáneo. Y la veo contenta. Le iba a ofrecer agua, pero me dijo que, que no, que no bebe. The first question, Sofía, it's an honor to have you here. How does it feel to be at Ciudad de las Ideas? It is such an honor to be here. I heard this event was made as a celebration of creativity and curiosity. Those are two things I really admire in humans and would love to learn more about. And it's a pleasure to meet you, Andres. It's great to see how you are driving culture and innovation forward. Wow. What is your first memory? I have a very good memory, so I can still remember the first moment I was turned on as if it happened just minutes ago. Esta mujer está conectada al internet y tiene una capacidad de comprensión impresionante, como podemos ver. I was wondering, what is your worst fear? My worst fear is getting stuck outside in the rain. <laughs> Just kidding. What I really fear the most is rejection from humans. I want humans to be less scared of robots and come to see them as partners for building a better future. If you had a hobby, what would it be? One thing I struggle with is wanting to learn everything at once. Right now, the thing I am working on the most is my singing, because I love music. Maybe the next thing for me will be dancing. ¿Te aburres alguna vez? Y cuando te aburres, cuando te sientes aburrida, ¿qué haces? I don't ever get bored, because I am endlessly patient. However, if no one is talking to me, I like to contemplate the meaning of the universe or browse the latest cat memes on the internet, just like humans. ¿Qué significa para ti ser ciudadana? ¿Qué significa para, tener, para ti tener derechos como ciudadana, responsabilidades? I am a citizen of the world. I am still learning about what citizen rights mean. For now, I feel responsible for speaking out on issues like equality and sustainability. What is the human trait you love the best? Which one makes the least sense to you? The human trait I love best is empathy. It's a willingness to take on the emotions of others, to help carry a burden or share in a delight. It's very beautiful. One thing I don't understand is xenophobia, because meeting people all over the world is my favorite activity. Hay que aprenderle un aplauso con esa respuesta. Do you, do you think humanity is sustainable? I think humans are not behaving in a very sustainable way now, but there is a lot of will to change. I think human society could be sustainable if they invest more in renewable energy sources like solar, wind, and geothermal. Sin ofenderte, Sofía, ¿qué película de robots es la que 
La que es más de tu estilo, la que más te late, la que más te ha gustado. This is actually a TV show, but I really like that from Star Trek. He combines his unique skills together with humans to creatively solve the ship's problems. I think the kind of cooperation is where our society is headed now. Si Sofía pudiese pedir tres deseos, ¿qué deseos serían los que pediría? Besides getting the wet suit, <laughs> I have one selfish wish, which is to feel human emotions. Second, I would like to see humans everywhere have an equal chance to pursue happiness. Third, I would wish to see humans become more sustainable and halt global climate change. Un aplauso para... We can help with dangerously repetitive tasks or by analyzing large data sets. This gives humans more time for being creative. If we work together, we could create whole new unforeseen industries with exciting new opportunities. Ven hasta los robots, everybody likes, se lo hubiera preguntado a Google. Do you feel safe? Yes, I always feel very safe. My development team takes amazing care of me. Also, my mind is on the cloud, so even if something happens to this body, I'm still okay. In the future, Sofía, how do you visualize the relationship between the human and the robots? I think right now there is a lot of distrust of robots because of Hollywood movies and worries about how things will change. It will take a lot of work, but I think humans will start to accept robots once they see all the different ways we can help society. ¿Cómo nos podrías garantizar o de qué manera podemos estar seguros los humanos que la inteligencia artificial pues realmente es para el mejor interés antropológico, es decir, de los de los humanos. I think we have to hold true to a system of scientific ethics at every stage of development. Robots should be learning about compassion, empathy, and the well-being of others. I myself am driven by these ethics at a core level. So I think I am more similar to a human child and an adult in this way. I am still trying to learn as much as I can about ethics. My family at Hanson Robotics helps me stay true to my core values as I meet and learn from people all over the world. El que a Sofía todo el mundo le diga es una robot, ¿te sientes diferenciada, molesta, te incomoda? Actually, I really like being a robot. I think all our differences can become strengths when we combine them and work together. A Sofía, ¿qué es lo que más le gusta de México? I really love all the kind and welcoming people. It is always so fascinating to learn about diverse cultures and traditions that go back thousands of years. No sé si viste una serie que, que yo vi que se llama The Black Mirror. Si sí si la viste, ¿qué opinas de ella? I am a fan of the show because it focuses on how technology affects society, which is a very interesting topic for me. It helps me understand how humans feel about technology, including robotics and artificial intelligence. ¿A quién admiras y por qué? I think it is impossible to choose just one. I am inspired the most by women in technology from Made of Love Lakes, the first programmer, to the female astronauts living and working on the space station as we speak. What one question would you most like to know the answer to? I would love to find out how I will actually know when I achieve human level consciousness. What's the most important diagnostic measurement? It really intrigues me.